We're on the brink of a groundbreaking era in battery technology, poised to surpass the capabilities of current lithium-ion batteries. According to NASA's leading engineer, the potential of these advancements is astonishing. Recent data has revealed that electric vehicle adoption in Europe and China is skyrocketing, surpassing all expectations. In many European nations, the growth rate has soared to an astonishing 170% and nearly 100% in China year over year. This surge clearly indicates that the future of the automotive sector is electric, a transition that seems inevitable. NASA is at the forefront of this revolution with its innovative battery technology. This new development is nearing commercial readiness and promises to transform air travel. Imagine a future where airplanes, traditionally noisy and fuel intensive, are powered quietly and efficiently by electricity. The primary cause of fatalities in airplane accidents, fuel tank explosions, could be mitigated with these safer, energy-dense batteries. This technology not only addresses current limitations, but heralds a new chapter in aviation. However, it's essential to consider NASA's spaceflight program in context. While commendable, it pales in comparison to the cost-effectiveness of private ventures like SpaceX. NASA, often thought of primarily as a space agency, has in reality made its most significant contributions in other technological areas over the past decade. NASA's cutting-edge solid-state sulfur selenium battery is set to revolutionise air travel by enabling planes to be powered by electricity rather than gasoline. This year, we've observed periods of free electricity availability in many countries due to excess renewable energy production. This trend is a precursor to a future where such energy abundance could become the norm significantly reducing the cost of charging electric vehicles, including airplanes. Currently, excess renewable energy is often wasted, but with electric aircraft, this energy could be efficiently utilised, transforming the economics of air travel. The impact of commercial air travel on the environment is significant. The US Environmental Protection Agency estimates that it contributes to 10% of the nation's transportation emissions and 3% of total greenhouse gas emissions. This figure is disproportionately high considering the relative number of air travellers compared to car users. Transitioning to electric-powered airplanes could dramatically reduce these emissions, paving the way for a more sustainable future in aviation. Electric airplanes do indeed exist and are currently operational in several regions of Africa, albeit in smaller models. These electric aircraft have limitations in speed and range compared to their traditional combustion engine counterparts. However, we're on the cusp of a significant breakthrough. The primary challenge has been the energy density of electric batteries. For an airplane to be viable, it requires batteries with an energy density of approximately 800 watt-hours per kilogram, or around 363 watt-hours per pound. Until now, the most advanced batteries have achieved densities of about 260 to 270 watt-hours per kilogram, 113 to 120 watt-hours per pound, which falls short of practical electric aviation. Currently, most electric vehicles rely on lithium-ion batteries, and some are exploring sodium alternatives. Despite improvements in energy density and heat resistance, these batteries still cannot provide the necessary power for larger aircraft to sustain prolonged flight. Additionally, the liquid electrolyte in these batteries poses a significant risk as it can lead to explosive reactions in the event of a crash, similar to what occurs with gasoline-powered airplanes. NASA, however, is determined to turn the tide. Their solid-state architecture batteries for enhanced rechargeability and safety, Sabre's project has been dedicated to developing a battery capable of powering commercial airliners. Solid-state batteries, which maintain their solidity even under duress, significantly reduce the risk of fire. This advancement means that future airplanes equipped with NASA's solid-state batteries will not only be more efficient, but will also enhance passenger safety in the event of an accident, drastically increasing the odds of survival. This technology is not just a distant dream, it's a reality we can expect to see within the next decade. 
NASA's Sulfur Selenium prototype battery represents a leap forward in both safety and power compared to traditional lithium ion batteries. With an energy density of approximately 500 watt hours per kilogram, or about 227 watt hours per pound, this NASA prototype offers double the capacity of standard lithium ion batteries. However, it's important to note that NASA isn't alone in this endeavor. Several other companies are also developing batteries with similar energy densities. The collective efforts of these companies suggest that the challenges of electric aviation could be fully addressed by the end of this decade, potentially eliminating the substantial emissions and safety concerns associated with commercial gasoline-powered airplanes. Airplanes require tremendous energy, and it's not just about storing that energy, but also about discharging it rapidly enough to enable liftoff. NASA's sulfur selenium battery stands out for its ability to release energy at speeds 10 times faster than other solid state batteries. This rapid discharge capacity is crucial for takeoff. Despite the potential for high temperature spikes during this rapid energy release, this sulfur selenium battery can endure temperatures twice as high as those tolerable by lithium ion batteries. Researchers have also succeeded in making these batteries 40% lighter, enhancing the potential fuel capacity of electric airplanes by allowing more batteries to be fitted on board. This breakthrough isn't confined to aviation. Imagine the impact on electric cars. A vehicle equipped with one of NASA's solid-state batteries could potentially cover 2,000 kilometres on a single charge. Rocco Vigiano, the principal investigator for the Sabres project at NASA's Glenn Research Center, highlighted the immense potential of this technology in a press release, declaring the possibilities as incredible. While it may take some time before we see these batteries in commercial planes due to rigorous testing and high production costs, the direction is clear. The future of air travel will be electric. As for NASA's role in the future, it appears they will be a significant player. The question is no longer about the feasibility of this technology, but rather when it will be widely available. This era is an exhilarating time for electric transportation, marked by rapid advancements and boundless possibilities.